Thank you, Honorable Speaker, sir, for giving me an opportunity to participate in this important debate. I stand before you with immense pride and joy. I stand before you with immense pride and joy as I reflect upon the recent successes of ISRO Chandrayaan 3, which is the world's first mission to successfully land on the lunar South Pole, and Aditya L1, which was the first satellite mission to study the sun. Sir, these achievements are not just a milestone. They are a testament to the unwavering dedication, hard work, and remarkable journey of our nation's space program fueled by the tireless work of our scientists, engineers, and our support team at ISRO. Sir, I was thrilled to watch on TV the awe-inspiring launch of Chandrayaan-3, which happened in Sriharikota, which is in my home state of Andhra Pradesh. It is an experience that filled my heart with pride, excitement, and joy. The sight of our spacecraft ascending into the cosmos was nothing short of breathtaking. It was a moment that resonated deeply with every Indian and a moment that affirmed our status as Vishwa Guru. I also would like to take a second and appreciate all scientists, including the Telugu scientists who have contributed to the Chandrayaan mission. What makes Chandrayaan 3's triumph even more inspiring is the journey that led us here. It reminds us that failure should never deter, deter us. Instead, it should propel us to return stronger. Chandrayaan 2 faced its own challenges, but our scientists and engineers demonstrated an unwavering spirit of resilience and determination. So they refused to let adversity define their journey and their efforts bore fruit with the resounding success of Chandrayaan 3. In the words of our visionary leader, Sri Chandrababu Naidu Garu, every crisis creates an opportunity and those who fight in those situations will emerge as leaders. This is precisely what our ISRO scientists have demonstrated to the world. They have seized the opportunity, overcome the challenges and emerged as leaders in the space exploration program. Respected sir, as we speak about the successes of ISRO, to first name, the first name that comes to the young minds of this country is our beloved former president, Abdul Kalam Ji, sir. Commonly, he is commonly known as the people's president also. We have all heard inspiring stories of his association with ISRO. And it is an honor for TDP, as Sri Nara Chandrababu Naidgaru, the then convener of NDA, was the one who proposed and supported the nomination of Kalam as the president of our nation. And I am certain that Dr. Kalam had he been among us today, he would have been filled with immense joy and satisfaction seeing the success today. He also preached to this great nation to dream big and achieve big. But sir, ISRO not only dreamt big, but it dreamt of the impossible and achieved what no other country could today. It's now upon the central government to take these great technological advances and breakthroughs and use them for the benefit of 140 crore people of this country, sir. And I take immense pride in serving under the leadership of Chandrababu Naidugaru, who encapsulates the above thought brilliantly. I would like to highlight certain programs where our leader engaged with ISRO to help resolve issues faced by the people of Andhra Pradesh when he was the Chief Minister, sir. The lightning alert system, which was initiative launched to help warn people about possible lightning and staying safe, sir. And it was a lot of uh, beneficial program for uh, my constituency of Srikakulam as it is a cyclone-prone area and envisioning the use of satellite imagery for crop health monitoring, yield protections and crop insurance payouts, sir. And the government is today using it for Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima Yojana also and building spatial dashboards to monitor big development infra projects like Polavaram and other ones, sir. Monitoring groundwater levels and actively working with young entrepreneurs to develop technology that can benefit the common man. We should also acknowledge the rapid growth in our private sector's involvement in the development of space technologies over the last few years. Young startups like Dhruva Space, Satshore, Digantara, Skyroot Aerospace, Bellatrix and many others across India have achieved remarkable success over the last few years. I urge the central government to actively engage, assist and tap into the potential of such organizations to accelerate our country's overall progress in space research and satellite technology. I also applaud the government for launching programs such as Atal Tinkering Labs and legislation such as Anusandhan National Research Foundation Act 2023 that are aimed towards fostering the spirit of learning and scientific temperament in our country, sir. Sir, before I conclude, I would like to bring the attention of the House to the case of Sri Nambi Narayan, a stark reminder of how motivated, petty vindictiveness can uproot and put back years of scientific development and innovation. It puts fear in the hearts of people and discourages them 
from carrying forward the works of their leaders, lest they be termed traitors to the nation themselves. Even though he has been cleared of all the charges, the years lost fighting the allegations took an obvious toll on his health and reputation, sir. The country lost out as well on the possible immense contributions this brilliant mind could have made to our space program. Sir, we live in strange times when Thank the you. corrupt are putting the honest and sincere in jail, sir. We see a similar chain of events unfold in my state of Andhra Pradesh, where our beloved leader, Chandrababu Naidu, who worked relentlessly for 45 years with an unblemished career, Please. have been jailed. Sir, if I'm speaking anything unparliamentary, you have the right to expunge it, sir. But I'm not speaking anything unparliamentary. Please. Please. Within my limits of being a parliamentarian, I'm speaking in this house, sir who has worked relentlessly for 45 years with an unblemished career, has been jailed on trumped-up charges, which is an obvious case of regime, revenge, litigation. What incentives do young leaders like me have when honesty is being impeached? On the other hand, another leader from my state, surrounded by psychophants, will be celebrating 10th year anniversary of being out please, on bail this 23rd September for looting our country of 43,000 crores, sir. <coughs> sir, respected sir, we need to fix our system no, before please it conclude. is taken for granted. Sir, please, two lines and I am please concluding. Conclude, please conclude. Concluding, sir. Sir, many of them who have benefited from CBN's policies and leadership over the years have come out on the streets to show their concern over his arrest. Not only in Andhra Pradesh, but in Hyderabad, Bangalore, Delhi, not only in India, but cities across USA, UK, Australia yes, and many other countries. Now there is support pouring in, sir. Through you, I appeal to the members of this August House to raise their voices collectively against the great oh, no. injustice and one blatant assassination one, one, one second, of democracy one, one second. unfolding in Andhra Pradesh. You please, he is not speaking anything unparliamentary. Within the, no, please, you can dispute it. You can dispute. Suppose anything, no, no, anything unparliamentary, objectionable, it will be looked into. But unnecessarily, you don't create noise because you can very well dispute it after when your turn comes. No, 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 no. He is comparing Nambi Narayan's case. Let me conclude, no, no. sir. Let me conclude. Please, please, let him let complete. Let me conclude. You conclude. You let me conclude, sir. Yeah. Last, last four and a half years I am seeing, sir, the members of parliament after, from ICP, after, after his their speech, only you agenda can is to you can stop me say. and my members from speaking. There is nothing else. Yes, yes. I will just conclude. Very last point, sir. As I conclude, I am reminded of Martin Luther King's quote. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere, sir. Thank you. Jai Hind. Thank you very much.